Facebook conversion tracking and event tracking in 2016. Explained and shown. When you log into your Facebook Ads Manager, let's press on Pixels for a second. Here we can view Pixel. In 2016, Facebook is making changes. Now you use just one pixel, as in JavaScript code, to track page views. And once you insert this throughout your website, then you'll be able to create conversion tracking through custom conversions. We can press on custom conversions and it is very straightforward process. All you do is you say, if my URL, let's say I want to promote this page and the page URL contains these um, keywords. Let's go and say, okay, if the URL contains premium courses, then that's URL contains rule. I can then say, okay, how about another category perhaps? So I can select this rule. Or I can say, you know what, if URL equals, then I have more control over the pattern matching for that URL by saying, if the URL equals this URL pattern match, then custom conversion should occur. We also have predefined categories here. You can perhaps read more about it, but it is straightforward process. Let's say page view. If the page view is important, then you select that as your conversion. Perhaps it's a landing page that you're running a promotion for and that page is important for conversions, you can select view content. Or you can say, you know what, I've got a subscription page, that's my conversion. Then you can select things here accordingly. Let's select view content. Let's press next. Here we can define a name for our custom conversions and also add a descriptive text so that we can, when we're re analyzing reports, you can see what conversion tracking you're analyzing. Furthermore, you can actually set a monetary value here. Let's say a conversion is worth $2 for you or $20 for you. Then you can set that here accordingly. And then you simply would create your custom conversions. I'm going to cancel out because I've already done this. Now I'd like to show you how you can create on-page events. Basically, when you create this custom conversion by setting all the rules, Facebook will use your Facebook pixel for page views, and now you define the rules, it's going to track those custom conversions rather automatically. So now let's go and learn about on-page events. Let's imagine you have a shopping cart, so when people click that link to add to cart, you want to say, you know what, that's a conversion. We are looking at a typical WordPress site. Let me press on edit post, so that I can show you what we're going to do. So this is the, the page itself, as in the, the post, or a page, it makes no difference. Let's imagine I want to track people clicking on certain on-page events, as in, click this, I want to track that as a conversion. What I can do is, when I'm logged into my dashboard, press on Appearance, press on Editor. For WordPress, this is the theme setup. So then I would need to modify header.php file. Okay, this is the pixel. I've placed in conditional if statements. And I'm going to show you this from my local computer because it's color coded. Furthermore, some WordPress theme setups do not have these files available for you to modify. Then you would need to log into your web hosting manager and browse into file manager, locate WP content folder, themes folder, and your theme that you're using 
through your web hosting account so you can browse into that file if you do not see that header.php file for WordPress so now I'm going to show you my local copy because it'll make more sense for you once again we're looking at the same folder structure but it's locally okay themes this is the theme that I'm using it's the same as this here so now what I've done is I've really made this as best that it can be for certain pages if you're using WordPress you can let's delete all this so that you can see it clearly so this would be the standard Facebook pixel tracking page views so if you were to create custom conversions it's going to use this code with the rules that you've defined but now we want to track on page events so now we can utilize PHP if statements saying if it is single blog post then create this function here on this page I'm saying track as lead but I could have easily changed that to purchase if I want and then I can set these the name for it category for it value for it, currency in this example it's USD but I could have easily said AUD for Australian dollars okay so then that first block if statement ends and it will only fire on this page and let's imagine you have a page called thank you page and then you want to also track that page let's imagine it's named like that then you can say if his page only on that page then run this function okay so that's what that is that code is doing that in this example for WordPress I can also say you know what if it is in certain category by saying in category then track that individually so this is much cleaner code now right so once you set this up along these lines for a PHP based content management system then on the page that you'd like to track let's imagine this is the link let's imagine this is the link and all you then need to do is simply fire on on click event calling that function on click function coming from here so now once you update those changes when someone clicks on a particular link and that is called on page event then you'll be able to track custom conversions giving you more power and control over your conversion tracking activities i thank you very much for learning with me if you benefited from this video session please do give it a like and share it and i thank you once again for learning with me